Overflowing landfills are a common sight in South Africa. One of the main culprits found in these dump sites is plastic bags and products collected during the waste removal process. Researchers estimate that 90% of carrier bags and other single-use consumer plastic items are produced from petroleum-based chemical material and are therefore non-biodegradable when disposed in natural environments. We want to find a way of resolving the need for bags, carrier bags, plastic bags, but then protect the environment at the same time. And the solution, particularly in plastic bags, lies in biodegradability. Just to clarify something from the outset, we're not getting rid of plastic in the usual sense. So we're not saying that every form of plastic should become 100% biodegradable, but certainly in mass applications, the material used there should be 100% biodegradable. The CSIR has developed bioplastics that are biodegradable with mechanical properties that are similar to conventional plastics. Plastics SA, which represents the South African plastics industry, set itself the task of eliminating all plastics from the country's landfill sites by the year 2030. With this new bag that we have, it's made from natural materials, from starch, it's starch-based, and it would degrade within months. It's very environmentally friendly, and it's an area that we want to strengthen as the CSIR. The bags have been tested in different environments, such as soil, compost, water, and biodegraded in just three months. We all know that currently we're using non-renewable -renew sources for our plastic bag. If we can get this one right, we'll have biodegradable bags. And needless to say, if we can have all the raw material sourced from the country, that is massive in terms of the rural development and the jobs that we can create. So it's not only an environmental impact, but it also has a social impact, and that's what's so exciting about this project. CSIR researchers support the South African government's bioeconomy strategy for bioplastic materials, which is closely aligned to the presidential project on job creation and a green economy. You have to look at mass rollout to get a mass impact. What we'd like to do is we'd like to see a concerted effort by government and industry to pick up on biodegradable bags, introduce them into the value chain in various places, and preempt this problem very, very early on.